So I've been daily driving Vivo's new Portrait Master phone so that makakasulat ako ng honest review about the device. But this video is not the actual review. Hi guys, this is Joseph from Davao Geek Hub and this is my unboxing and first impressions of the Vivo V30 Pro 5G. For full disclosure, pinahiram sa atin to ni Vivo Philippines. But everything I will say about the device will be my unbiased opinion. And I hope makakatulong ang video na to. If you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing. I make videos about tech and lifestyle as well as other beauty stuff. You can also click the bell icon to get notifications when we publish a new video. Now let's start with a quick unboxing. Inside is the device itself. Kasama niya is ang quick start guide, warranty booklet, and a free clear case. And of course, yung USB Type-A to Type-C cable and charger or power brick. So this is the Vivo V30 Pro 5G in the petals white colorway. Napakaganda niya and as the colorway suggests, mukha siyang petals ng white na flower. It also looks like it's textured pero hindi. It's very smooth and feels like plastic which I personally don't like. The device is also remarkably thin, around 7.6mm lang yung kapal. Even with the included clear case, it still feels very thin. I even sometimes forget na my phone case siya. For buttons and ports location, we have the power and volume buttons dito sa right side. Nothing on the left. Sa taas naman isang microphone for video recording. Meron ding marking that says professional portrait. That suggests that the device can capture amazing portraits. Which susubukan naman natin sa ating written review. Finally, sa baba is ang speaker, USB Type-C port, mic, and ang SIM card tray. Speaking of the SIM card tray, it supports dual nano SIM cards, but walang slot for a micro SD card. Actually, di na natin kailangan yun since the device already has plenty of internal storage. Speakers are loud, kaya itaas hanggang 150% volume. Kaso, single firing speaker lang siya, so walang surround. Plus, the sound quality is a bit underwhelming for me. I was expecting it to be amazing para ma-complement ang magandang display. Now speaking of the display, it has a 6.78 inch AMOLED display that gives amazing viewing quality and experience. Napaka clear, crisp, and bright ng images. Yung curved screen din niya makes it seem like the bezels are invisible. It also supports up to 120Hz refresh rate for super smooth scrolling and 300Hz touch sampling rate for improved gaming experience naman. Under the hood, it's powered by a MediaTek Dimensity 8200 partnered with 12GB of RAM and 512GB of storage. Meron din siyang expandable dynamic RAM feature of up to 12 gigs. Lahat ng ito together are more than enough for multitasking and power hungry apps. For the full specs of the device, you can check out the screen. Post yun na lang. Saving the best for last is its cameras. The device is equipped with a triple rear camera system. Meron siyang 50 megapixel main. 50 megapixel telephoto and isa pang 50 megapixel ultra wide. Sa harap is also a 50 megapixel selfie cam. These cameras are co-engineered with Zeiss, so we are definitely sure na maganda talaga ang picture quality. Here are some of my quick shots. The most standout feature of the Vivo V30 Pro 5G though is the upgraded Aura Light Portrait 2.0. This time, mas wider na yung Aura Light, and you can now control the color temperature of the light. It still gives you that soft halo light, but thanks to the color temperature control, pwede natin siyang iset to a warmer color para mas natural tingnan yung skin tones. I actually like using the warmer color temperature more often. The Vivo V30 Pro 5G is currently available here in the Philippines 
and is priced at 34,999 pesos. You can get it at authorized stores and retailers nationwide, as well as online via Shopee, Lazada, and TikTok Shop. Links below. That's it for my unboxing and first impression of the Vivo V30 Pro 5G. I hope you found this video helpful. Do give it a thumbs up if it did, and don't forget to subscribe. Written in the preview of the device will be published over at devilgeekhub.com. Link will be at the description box when it gets published. Once again, this has been Joseph. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.